Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise, and tonight I am going to make a pork meatloaf with a glaze. I got here a pound of Tennessee Pride country sausage. I'm going to put that in this bowl. Get my hands washed. Okay, I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees. And now I'm going to add a small onion. That looks like a small onion. And two cloves of garlic. Two tablespoons of fresh parsley, but I only have dried. So I'm just going to sprinkle some in. Probably a half a tablespoon's worth. And then I need one egg. And then I need a quarter cup of plain breadcrumbs. These are my homemade breadcrumbs. Just put them all in the freezer. Leave them out here in case I need more. Then I need two tablespoons of ketchup. One tablespoon of Italian dressing, or Italian seasoning. And some salt and pepper. Now I have some parchment paper in my bread loaf pan. Put this in here. This is going to go in the 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. And I'm going to be making up a glaze to put on that. So when I do that, I will bring you back. Okay, friends, my meatloaf has been in for about 25 minutes. So I'm going to heat up this pan that has about a tablespoon of vegetable oil in it to fry up some potatoes. So for the glaze... I need two tablespoons of ketchup. And two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. We use Sweet Baby Ray's. A teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. A 
a quarter teaspoon of salt and black pepper. And a quarter teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder. Give this a stir. Okay, I'm going to get these potatoes drained because they're sitting in cold water. Okay, I'm going to add them to my pan here. And I'm just going to let these fry while the meatloaf finishes up. Okay, the first 30 minutes is up. this glaze on it. Now this is going to go back in the oven for another 15 minutes or until a meat thermometer reaches 165 degrees. By that time, the potato should be done, so I will bring you back. Okay, friends, our dinner is ready. The meatloaf has been sitting here for about five minutes resting while the potatoes finished up. So we'll cut a hunk of meatloaf. and some fried potatoes. I did add some onion and garlic powder to the potatoes a few minutes ago. And there it is. Pork meatloaf and fried potatoes. This meatloaf recipe is new to us, so when we get done eating, I'll come back and let you know what we thought of it. We'll see you in a bit. All right, you guys, I just wanted to get back on here and let you know that this pork meatloaf was really good. Because I used a hot sausage, it was a little bit more spicy than what I expected, but it was still good. And I'll make sure to have this recipe linked for you below in the description box. We'll see you on Sunday. Good afternoon friends. Happy Sunday. One of our dishes for supper tonight is going to be cream cheese stuffed mini peppers. So here I have four ounces of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of Miracle Whip. I'm just going to finish off 
what is in this jar. That looks like it'll be two tablespoons. And I have three pieces of bacon here I'm going to chop up. I cooked this up yesterday. Okay, there's three pieces of bacon, finely chopped. And I need a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to add some garlic powder to it also. About a half a teaspoon. And give this a good mix. Okay, I'm just going to start putting this in these mini peppers until I run out of cream cheese. All right, a little bit left. All right, I'll bring you back when I move on with the rest of our dinner. Okay, friends, I have some potatoes peeled and diced. I'm going to boil them up and then mash them. And for the chicken thighs, I'm going to salt and pepper them. And then when they get close to being done, I'm going to have my husband baste them in barbecue sauce. We like our chicken simple. So he's out there preheating the grill now. I'll Okay, our potatoes are fork tender. I'm going to drain them. And put some butter in here. About a tablespoon. And I'm going to do some sour cream. Also tonight, maybe a quarter cup. And a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And some garlic powder. Season them up. These all mashed up. I'm going to keep these warm until the chicken is done and I'll bring you back. Okay friends, we just temped the chicken and it is done. Baste it in barbecue sauce. Potatoes are good and hot. And our stuffed, cream cheese stuffed mini peppers. And there you have it. That is our dinner tonight. Grilled chicken thighs with barbecue sauce, mashed potatoes, and cream cheese stuffed mini peppers.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.